Hi, I'd like to show you my network in Touch Designer, which I call Touch Cutter. Touch Cutter is CNC software. It's, I guess, cam milling software. It gives um, the the path in which your your tool on your CNC machine is gonna is gonna follow. Um, currently, it's set up to run with a Gerbil machine. Um, Mine's an X-Carve, so if you have an X-Carve, it should work with your machine right away. Probably with any other Gerbil machine, but it could be configured to work with uh, any G-Code. At, at the bottom here, you see the G-Code producer. Uh, don't get into it, really, unless you know Touch Designer, or learn Touch Designer a little bit first and then get into the G-Code producer. But it could be used to build... Um, post processors and pre-processors for any kind of g-code it's all just text files that it'll get manipulated and uh, put in proper formats and it's pretty much just a, a set of a formatting um, different tables and, and different text files so it's it's an efficient way of building g-code and so this is the final um, cut before it's turned to g-code and you can see it as X, Y, and Z coordinates over time. And you can see this one here has just under 300,000 points in it. And most of those points over, you know, from this, um, in this last shape, it's from 75,000 or so to just under 300,000. Whereas there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the same shapes before it in under 75,000. So to translate, that means um, you're seeing roughing passes and a really resolute finishing pass on a shape. And so working backwards from the G-code, well, what does that shape look like? Um, this is what we're looking at. We're looking at the uh, fireworks made into a bowl that's what that is that's the source of that image and um, I'll show you what that image looks like before it's turned into a 3D profile and uh, that's it right there so Pretty much, um, this current build of touch cutter we're looking at is a raster milling, meaning it uh, does one line after another, straight lines. Um, and it also does uh, depth contour milling, one uh, Z step after another. So meaning that you can create um, any 3D file as long as your tooltip doesn't have to go underneath itself. So any um, any black and white image that we use we can turn into a gradient um, from high to low and use that in our image so that image becomes the 3D file we were just looking at and that's the basis around how touch cutter works it would be really cool if there were some other people out there who were into touch designer and CNC milling that uh, could see the benefit in this system and uh, would want to help make it better. So that's what this video series is about. It's about just the development of Touch Cutter and uh, seeing if anyone else is out there that wants to get involved. So before I dive in and show you how to use it, I'm going to describe just this the system fundamentals. Is that this is the core and everything really happens here and this is all that you need however there there are two uh, secondary touch designer um, networks that I've got running simultaneously to this one so the first one is something that that will provide us with our image source I've got the, the feed off right now because I don't need it um, and the other one is the one that is we're gonna send our finished g-code file too and this is actually out in my workshop to a different computer which is going to be cutting the file so this way I can just do all my work in one place and not have to worry about walking it through with the USB stick uh, touch designer 
handles all the data transfer over Wi-Fi and I can just cut files directly from there. Um, system fundamentals. Um, it's not a real-time program. Most touch designer programs are real-time programs. This one's not. So you, you would, at the top, you would keep this real-time mode off. Another thing is you don't need to have your play bar um, playing. It can be in pause mode all the time. Um, there's only split seconds when you need it in play mode when you're building your G-code file. And that's when you're um, just going to be sending something in. It's going to be a, uh, one frame so it doesn't take very long to load it. So as long as it takes one frame to go over touch in is as long as your play is going to need to be on. And you can use locks to ensure that no live data is coming in or changing your flow because the worst thing to have happen is your other network to somehow stop sending the data and have it be live and then and then your your g-code uh, pipe will have to be reloaded again and sometimes that can take a long time so keep a lock <coughs> on each side of your um, network to prevent plumbing of uh, data when you don't want it to happen um, Okay, that's about uh, this main. Oh yeah, one other thing is the RAM. This program, since Touch Designer normally works in real time mode, uh, it's it's calculates everything rather quickly, and it uses a lot of RAM uh, in certain situations, and this is one of them. And so, if you have a very very high resolution cut with a lot of points of data, um, well, let's just look right now.